Hey, this is Chad from Good Creative Tutorial, and today we're going to do another Jerry Olsman inspired technique. Um, this one from Jerry Olsman, it's a um, pretty neat effect where done in the traditional darkroom. You just have a picture boat here with some large clouds in the background, and it goes along right along the edge of the hands pretty evenly there on both sides, but eventually you start to actually see the hands and the cloud area uh, is just uh, somewhat visible here. All right. So in order to recreate that artistic look, I have two examples. Uh, I think one looks a little bit better than the other. This one I didn't cut out the middle. All right, so it looks a little bit different, but it does have the bow in it and the clouds in the background. I used three different images for that. Um, I'm going to do more simple technique here. I think it looks a little bit better. But I'm going to provide all three support files if you want to add the boat. Uh, and I'll explain how to do that as a layer uh, in between the two later. So for this uh, more simple technique, go ahead and open up uh, the first support file. It's the hands there. And then also open up the clouds support file. All right, the clouds one's already grayscale. Uh, the hands one we do need to convert, so there's many ways to do this. But for this example, we can just go to image adjustments, and uh, you can go to hue saturation, drag the saturation all the way to the left. And we need to flip it as well, so just go to image, image rotation, 180 degrees. And so we need to drag one on top of the other. So go ahead and pull this clouds one off the tab there. Click the move tool on the toolbar and click and drag it on top of the hands and click OK, different RGB, that's fine. Okay, um, if you're not sure where it's going to be on top of the hands, we can actually bring the opacity down in the layers palette. If you don't see this, make sure you go to Window, then Layers. So I'm going to bring that down. So you can kind of see where the clouds are going to be on the hands. We also want the bottom of the clouds to go, go across the entire span of the hands because we want to cover up our hands. So I'm just going to that looks fine like that. And you can resize it. If you don't see the, the bounding box or the edges there, just uh, click so Show Transform Controls. Hold Shift if you want to maintain the same proportion when you're resizing if you do. All right, so go ahead and enter to apply any changes, resizes. And uh, while that's partially transparent, let's bring it actually down a little bit more. We need to make a selection here to cut out that area where there's no hands. So with this Paul Ligno Lasso tool, you could actually, if the edge is delineated enough, you could use maybe the Quick Selection tool, but because there's kind of a shadow there, I'm just going to use the Paul Ligno Lasso tool. So click and let go, click and let go. So I'm going to do a quick selection here, really quick, using a lasso tool, the Paul Ligno Lasso tool. Double click and we'll uh, make that selection. And make sure you do have the clouds are selected and if you want to feather the edge a little bit so there's not just a harsh edge you can go to select modify feather maybe do a two pixel feather then hit backspace um, or delete uh, to delete those uh, pixels alright so if I bring the opacity back up to 100 you see what we have here it's just um, you know we need to mask out some of that so what you can do is a combination of selection like that so uh, we can do selection again along this hand here I'm gonna curve back there I'm gonna hold shift and add to the selection and I'm gonna make another Oops, let's see selection of this edge here as well Okay, uh, so once you have something like that, go ahead and hit backspace again. Where I'm actually going to undo, I need to feather the edge first. So select, modify, feather, backspace. Okay. Now, the last uh, step here is we need to just do some uh, slight blurred edges. If you see the, the original example, it's not really hard edge. You can kind of see through those clouds to the hand. Um, but then you can definitely see the clouds there. They're 100% opacity, it seems. 
So, back in Photoshop, uh, we'll need to add a layer mask. So at the bottom of the layers palette, click that. It's like a white circle inside a gray box at the bo bottom of the layers palette. Make sure you have the clouds layer selected. And choose the brush tool in the layers palette. Choose a nice soft edge brush, one of these. If you don't see those, just make sure the hardness is set to 0%. All right. You can resize it here. Of course, you can also resize on the fly with a left or right bracket on the keyboard. And I'm just going to paint some black in here to mask that out. So I want the top of the hands to show there. And then I just mask a little bit of the edge off here. And on the edge over here as well, I want those fingers to start to show there a little bit. And you can preview what it's going to look like by bringing the opacity back up to 100%. So we've got way too many clouds here, obviously, so we need to mask out a little bit more. And also make the edge of this a little bit more soft. You can just click and drag along the edge like that, and it'll make it more organic edge if you kind of have a hard edge there. So I'm actually going to mask out that much. And then down here, and also this white area here. And then we can crop if we want it just where the hands are here. All right, so there's our final look um, to try to mimic that look. Of course, you could take a lot more time if you want to use a selection, if you really want some uh, delineated edges there. Or uh, some of the edges should be kind of soft, and then using the masking techniques is the best way to do that. If you do need to bring some pixels back in, just make the foreground white, and it'll bring it back in like so. All right. So that's our uh, Jerry Oldsman inspired look. Uh, with a really quick tutorial, you can take a little bit more time in that in the actual example if you want. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more weekly Photoshop tutorials. I occasionally do some Illustrator and InDesign as well. Uh, so coming up with some pretty cool ones, so you can check that out. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks.